Brewers host in the Marlins, and the Marlins are plus 128 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 150. The over-under is seven runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. I am going to butcher his last name, Chargos. Uh, he did not pitch against the Brewers either last year or this year. Peralta pitched twice against the Marlins last year. One and two-thirds, four runs, four earned. They lost that game four to two, and he struck out three. And then four innings, no runs, no earned. They lost that game four to three and 12, and he struck out four. They are four and one in his last five starts. He's got an uh, ERA of 1.4. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and eight strikeouts per game in those games. The over has hit in his last three starts, and the over is four and one in his last five. And like I say, when these videos come out, when a pitcher has a low ERA and the games go over, generally it's because he's getting run support. Now, in his last three appearances against the Marlins, uh he's got an overall record or his last three starts of uh four and a third innings pitched three hits 1.3 earned runs 5.7 strikeouts one walk 79.7 pitches so apparently he really doesn't shine against the marlins now head to head the road team is seven and three the brewers are six and four the favorite is five and five on the money line the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three there have been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10. And at 7, we're going to have a few. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the under is 4-3 and the over is 4-3-3. Three, and three. So four games went over, three games went under, and three games hit 7 exactly. 7 seems to be the sweet spot. The game they play today... The Brewers won 12 0. The two previous to that, the Marlins won 4 3. So there's your 7. And the game before that, the Brewers won 1 0. The Marlins are 7 3 in their last 10, 2 2 in their last 4. And the Over is 8 2 in their last 10. And for the Brewers, they're 6 4 in their last 10, 3 1 in their last 4. And the Over is 7 3 in their last 10. And the Over has hit in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of their last 6 games that they've played in. I understand that Peralta didn't play well. But I have picked against pitchers who haven't played well against the team in the past, and then they absolutely whoop on them that next time. I think that the Brewers are going to win this game. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I will take the Marlins getting the runs, and I'm going to go over. I know it sounds like I'm hedging, but I think that the bullpen's going to screw this game up ultimately. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.